want to talk about empathy and, um, and the fact of not wanting praise for your successes and not blaming others for your failures. Um, a lot of the problems I come across in the uh, environment I work in uh, are caused by other people and there's always another effect caused by something else and because it's such a large environment um, you never fully get the picture of why something as it is so as you sh should you shouldn't aim to blame people for anything because at the end of the day it could have been three years before they even started but in the Philippines it's also important to look at things in a similar way um, there's a lot of charity stuff that we've done previously and there's a lot of stuff if you're doing something in the Philippines don't aim to do it for getting something in return that's for the wrong reason um, there's enough problems there and there's enough people there that ride on the back of the poor and whatever for their own self um, vulgarity <laughs> well, well they call it a different word I call it vulgarity um, take people for who they are see people for who they are people are people um, and look at it from their point of view from understanding the person it's like what I said about the security guards that open the doors I always say thank you because most people don't they appreciate it because otherwise you're just nothing people just walk past you as if you're a robot or a piece of furniture that's why it's important to engage with people respect people um, but let's like say and if you do some some good don't don't boast about it but there is nothing wrong with actually encouraging other people to do the same um, I find some of the most rewarding things in the Philippines was actually helping other people it's uh, it can be a humbling experience but at the same time it it, it adds um, something else to you you become a better person for it in the same way when something goes wrong be aware not everybody understands in the same way you do Western culture is very different to Philippines culture the education system in the Philippines often drives people down it's a, it's a bit like in the West you know you see the kids being laughed at by the rest of their classmates after the teachers made a joke of them very similar because it's not encouraging creativity it's not encouraging you to ask questions as such you get a culture where people will go yes I can do anything you want me to do and the reality is they can't but they will never ask you um, what you really meant or what you want doing because or say no because culturally that's wrong so just take it on the chin and go do you really understand what I'm talking about let me just explain it to you just go over it don't aim to run people down don't go what an idiot um, sometimes I've, I admit sometimes I've done it when I've actually shown somebody three times and they go back to the way they were taught ten years ago but at that stage it's already cost me a few quid and they're getting sacked next but it's not a case of I didn't give them the opportunity uh, what it is is they refuse to change um, even when you sat there and worked through it with them um, but that's a completely different thing that stubbornness <laughs> but yeah just see it from other people's points of view there's always a reason behind it there's always something in the background and not everything is as obvious um, to you especially if you're new to the Philippines because some of the stuff that goes on in the Philippines there is logic to it it's just not Western logic there's something else going on and that's why you should take the time and just ask why do you do it like that because sometimes you'll get an answer and it still may not make a hundred percent sense to you but it will make some because locally it's made sense for the last hundred years or whatever so that's the important thing see it from another person's perspective don't rant at them but also understand people take the time to understand them take the time to relate to them 
uh, because you'll have a better experience in the Philippines. A lot of people like to be like a ball in a china shop when things go wrong. All that happens is you scare people and you're struggling to get people to work for you and things like that and it doesn't do you any favours. Also, they won't invite you to any family gatherings or things and isolate you a bit within your own community because everybody knows the crazy white Keno because that, that's pretty common. That's how they see a lot of foreigners already. Um, I remember having a snorkel there. There was a piece missing. I took it back to the store. Now, bear in mind, the guard see me with this snorkel in my hand. He just stood out of the way, went straight up to the store. All the people were hiding in the, in the um, uh, Gasana Mall. And I took it back to this guy that sold me it and said, look, this is that. Oh, oh, yeah, no problem. Give me another one. At no point had I even looked intimidating. What it was is they'd seen a cano, the white foreigner that scares the locals. Um, so the point is, I try to break that barrier down because that's a negative barrier that foreigners have created in the Philippines. And it's not good for you, it's not good for me, it's not good for any expats or any foreigner because it creates a false fear. I know there's some idiots out there, um, the same idiots that complain that they end up getting arrested and deported. But at the same time, we're not all like that. So let's try and change that. Alright, thanks for watching.